Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brain Bean here again. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Victrix Pro AF gaming headset. Now, if you've never heard of Victrix, they're a new company out of San Diego, and this is their flagship first launched product. This is the Pro AF headset. It's been in development for the last two years. And this is a headset that is pretty much exclusively marketed towards the eSports gamer. And we'll talk about why that is throughout the course of the review. But to start it off, as always, I wanna look at the construction and design of the headset. And overall quality of construction is really good. The headband is made out of carbon steel. The yokes are made out of aircraft grade aluminum. The sides of the ear cups are plastic, but it does feel like a nice quality plastic. It doesn't feel real cheap and flimsy. And when you go to adjust the headband, it's like a nice bit of resistance there. It doesn't feel like it's gonna move after you put it on your head. There's no play there. You can adjust the ear cups out 90 degrees. And I also like that there's a bit of an angle there so that when you go to put it over your neck like this, it kind of contours over to your body. So it, it kind of hugs to you real well. Almost feels like you're wearing like a super tiny little harness, or like a little vest. It's pretty nice. The ear cups are wrapped in a really nice leatherette and they have a dense memory foam in them, which is always nice for comfort, which is a big thing when you're designing an eSports headset because you're gonna be wearing it for a really long time. I like that the foam on the ear cups, you can actually take these off too. Uh, they're magnetic is that when you have big long ears like I do, the tips of them tend to rub on the plastic on the inside of the headsets. And that's not the case with this one because that foam is so dense. It also creates a nice seal around your head. And also if you're a glasses wearer, when I was wearing my glasses testing this headset, I didn't have any issue with the glasses smashing into the side of my head. So comfort wise, it's really nice. Another little touch that they added was the foam and the padding on the top of the headband. It's got a little split in the top of it. And the reason for this is to remove some of the pressure from the top, the, the apex of your head here, where the headset's gonna be putting the most pressure on it. And that's to help reduce fatigue again during those marathon gaming sessions. Another little interesting thing they threw in there is when you're wearing a headset for a long time, it tends to get hot. You tend to build up some humidity, a little bit of sweat around the ears. And what they noticed is when people are in tournaments, a lot of times in between matches, you still need to wear your headset so you can communicate with the team, get ready for the next match. Well, they noticed people were taking off one ear on the headset, and so they decided to add in these little vents on the back. And there's two little levers, and you just turn the vent, and it kind of cracks the seal, if you will, kind of lets off a little bit of steam. It's an interesting feature. I don't know so much how practical it is, because I feel like it's still easier to just take one ear off, but it is going to be interesting to see if people actually adopt that feature or not. Now this headset's gonna come in two varieties and I have both of them here to show you. Really the main difference is this, if you notice there's no microphone on the headset right now and that's because it comes with a removable microphone. Now the reason for that is again, because it is an eSports headset, the, the idea is to be ultra portable and so you can remove the mic so that you don't have to worry about damaging your cables when you go to a tournament. But to use the mic, it's simply just a matter of plugging it in and you're good to go. Now the base model is gonna come with basically just your 3.5 millimeter dual headphone jack, and it does come with a splitter if you don't have an all-in-one uh, headphone jack. And then the mic itself has a really nice metal boom to it, so that means that you can position it pretty much anywhere that you want. It's a lot better than a lot of those like flexible plasticky ones where you kind of you can bend it into a position, but you'll notice it kind of slowly bends back over time. So I really like that they did that with the microphone, at least for the boom. So the flagship version of this headset, and the thing that's going to kind of separate the two is the inline controller. Now the inline controller is, I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. And the reason for that is that it runs on AA batteries. Now the reason for this is because to be tournament legal, this headset cannot be USB, which again, this one uses the 3.5 and I've got the little splitter there on this one. So from what I understand from Victrix, because it can't be USB, you can't recharge this over USB. And the idea is that by having AA batteries, all you have to do is just swap out batteries in the middle of the tournament. You don't have to worry about finding a charging station. And I think that makes sense. But the all-in-one controller is really big and bulky. It does have a little clip on it there, but I just don't see how practical it is having this giant inline controller. Now, why is it so big? Because you can do a ton of stuff with it. So the inline controller controls the lights on the headset and there's two lighting modes. There is just a pulsing breathing and then there's a static. And you can see here, I just plugged that in 
it's already started to light up. Now, that's one nice thing about the batteries on this is that you don't even really need to have it plugged into anything for it to work. Now, if you watched the launch video from TwitchCon where they debuted this headset, they had a lot of streamers putting the headset on and you see their faces kind of light up. They have this big reaction like, oh my God, that's crazy. What is that? They don't really talk too much about what they're showing these streamers when they have that big reaction. The big thing with this headset is that it has incredible active noise canceling. There's two microphones on each ear cup on both sides. And what that does is it takes in the frequencies that are going on around it and then cancels those out in the headset. That's really ideal for kind of your tournament atmosphere or being at big conventions like DreamHack or something like that where you have all this like dull roar of noise around you. And the Pro AF is, is rated to cancel out about 70% of all background noise. And I tested this in a couple of different ways. And I mentioned the ability to use it without having it plugged into a computer. So I guess if you wanted to use it on an airplane or something like that, you could do it as well. There's a little button right here, the ANC button for active noise canceling. You just put the headset on, you can click the button, doesn't even need to be plugged into the computer. And I actually tested it this way by just walking around the house, turning it on and off, listening to different things. I put a couple of box fans around me, turned it on. It really lowered the noise quite a bit. I did it while I was vacuuming, cut about, I would say about 60% of the noise. It doesn't get all the frequencies in the, in the frequency range. And then I also tested it when my wife was asking me to do chores around the house and just boop, didn't hear nothing. Just try that one out. It, don't, don't try that, it didn't help me out at all can get you into trouble. Other than that, you can control different audio modes, you can control microphone game, you can control uh, in-ear monitoring for your microphone. Again, I said the lighting modes, and then also your active noise canceling. So real quick, let's talk about the audio quality of the headset. The sound stage on this guy is actually really good. The highs, the lows, and the mids are all nice and clear. When playing games like PUBG, I could hear the footsteps really well. You can determine where the gunshots are off in the distance, nice and crisp. The lows are nice and boomy and bassy, so when you have explosions going off or if you're listening to music, the bass there is really good. I really applaud them because the 50 millimeter drivers and these guys, they deliver a really great audio experience. Now, we're gonna move on to the microphone now because that's probably equally as important as audio quality. Now, I've got a little uh, sound test for you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that right now. So now I'm talking to you guys directly through the microphone that's on the headset. Now this mic is a bi-directional microphone and it uses background noise filtering technology that was originally developed for use on attack helicopters. So it's got really good filtering of all the background roar that you might have in a tournament and it also can make you feel super cool if you're playing flight sims and you want to just be super immersive. You can use this headset to be like a sweet cobra pilot. As you guys can hear, though, <laughs> as you guys can hear, though, it's a pretty good sounding microphone. Listening back to some audio tests, I did think that it sounds a little bit thin. It does kind of give you that kind of airline pilot soundy just a little bit. But I think if you're not using this exclusively for recording YouTube videos or doing podcasts or Twitch streaming or something like that, even Twitch streaming, I think it's pretty passable. All right, so let's talk about some positives and negatives. Like I said, this is an ultra premium headset. It feels really high end. The audio quality is very good and it's super comfortable. But like you guys heard, I'm really not a big fan of that microphone. Now, if this headset catches on in the esports scene where it's really designed, I don't see that being that much of a problem because it's definitely clear enough that you can get the point across and the noise filter that's built into the mic is definitely gonna be very helpful. But I think for the home consumer or the streamer or something like that, the audio quality on the mic just didn't quite do it for me. And then the, also the other negative is just the inline control is really big and bulky, but again, it does a lot of stuff. And I guess for home use and things like that, it's not that big of a deal. So the Pro AF is still in beta right now, so I don't know how much it's going to cost. I think we should play a little bit of a game here. I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below how much you think either each version of the headset's gonna cost or if you just wanna ballpark it, that's fine too. I do think there's probably gonna be about a 50 to $60 difference between the version that comes with the inline controller and the version that comes with just the microphone. And I would be happy to see this headset probably land somewhere in the, I expect it to be in the 100 to $150 range with the big inline controller, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. So we'll have to check it out once we get a little bit closer to it. Well, that's it for the video guys. 
Let me know in those comments down below what you think about the Pro AF. And also let me know what you think about this style of video, just kind of sitting down, having a chat, taking a look at the products. I definitely want to try to do more videos like this in addition to my classic scripted videos. But I can sit down and do these videos a little bit quicker than I can my other ones. So in an effort to pump out more content for you guys, if you enjoy this, let me know so that I can make more videos just like this. Of course, you can also show me by giving me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here on the channel, you want to see more from me, of course, you can subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming for you in the near future. You can also follow me on Twitter at Brain Gaming. And also I want to let you guys know I have a new Amazon store set up. I've got a link down in the description for that as well. It's got all the products that I recommend and some of my favorites of last year all listed there for you conveniently. But that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.